Something's been here. Dog all around here. I don't think it's a fox. They don't usually do this much. They do snuffle around a bit. Brassicas in there. Mooley. Rocky. Do some salsify. Got some seeds. Mm, it's a bit dead now. Snips, Welsh leeks, put some radish and some winter spinach in there. Oh, and some salad that's coming up. More brassica under there. Carrots. All sorts in here, chard. Paolo, look, it's culinary herb. It tastes a bit like a cross between parsley and um, nasturtiums. It's quite pungent, you only need a bit. Uh, oh, like two celeriac. <laughs> okay. Cucumbers growing up there. <coughs> Chinese lanterns. Got outside as well. Kale. Chilies. People. Mulling that's self seeded everywhere. There's one over here in the sweet corn patch. Oh. Yeah, let's go around and chamomile that's self seeded everywhere. have some onions in there and I put some um, babington leeks in there hopefully they'll come up next year amaranth leeks beans didn't do very well I think a mouse might have eaten most of the seeds broad beans in there and put garlic in pumpkins look oh, been digging here as well there and along the back there and all down here look it's darker some poo. Oh. 
doesn't look like dog poo. Do oh, I don't know. What do I know? Orchard. And this is the bed that I'm literally, it's like on a gradient, heavy clay, caps off. It's just so I'm, um, there was nothing in it when I came here. So now I'm uh, gradually improving it in a natural way by putting a few things in, letting a few things pop up. And it's got these trees, what drop leaves as well. So eventually it'll be beautiful. Well, it's beautiful now, but you know. And then, well, that's the willow. There's a lot of willow to get done. Made a start though, look. Uh, this is goji berry, which I transplanted from a garden that was massive. Thought it had died. It has gone into shock, look, but still alive. So that's cool. And then this is all native hedging down here. Rosemary and dogwood, wild roses. Horseradish down there. Ooh. Strawberries. So yeah, I put um, Jerusalem artichokes there. So this is heavy clay, nightmare soil. I did all the potatoes down here this year. Oh, something's eating a bird there. Wonder if it's the same thing that's been digging. I need, I need a more expert to look at it. Uh, raspberries, beetroot, lemon balm, honeysuckle. Had sweet peas there. And this popped up. Himalayan, not balm, honeysuckle. They're edible. I've tasted them. They taste a bit like figs. They're quite strong. You have to get them when they're really squidgy. It's the mint. This is the bog area. Gunnera. <laughs> Soap walk. Mallow. <laughs> This is the raspberry tunnel that I've planted. It's got a bit lost. It'll come on for next year. I planted a passion fruit. But I'm not sure if it will. It'll grow up there, obviously. But I don't know if it will um, fruit. I did put a bilberry down there, which accidentally got streamed off. Hopefully it'll grow back. I would have thought so. I put a grape down here, which is a bit random because it's on a gradient in clay and sort of weird waterloggy stroke caps off. But look, seems to have taken all right. Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, I better get harvesting. <laughs>